Hi my joys, it's Cassandra the Joyful Artist and just sharing some inspiration with you today, hoping that you are leaning into your creativity, whatever that may be. Uh, I thought let's just pull a card from the Art of Life Inspiration deck. Before we do that, I've just been reflecting and I think this is a great way I would really encourage you to do this, which is um, the card that I pulled for myself today. <coughs> Excuse me was love stories hold all your vibrant memories close and of course you're part of my vibrant memories and it's really about celebrating your successes uh, celebrating the changes that you've made celebrating the courage like Ali, if you're watching, the courage to give it a go to have wanted to paint all your life and been terrified of it uh, other people that have come along and have been terrified of color or thinking they've left it too late so i think um and it's symbolic of me wearing red at the moment because i've just suddenly red's not a color that i use that i typically paint in although in saying that uh, i've just started reworking a painting here at the moment it's oil um, drying lots of reds and oranges and i'll i'll start sort of changing the background and moving around it I've got quite a few new works on the go at the moment and they've got a lot of energy, a lot of brushwork, really inspired. If you look at this one here, let's put her behind it, me. This one, which I called Enchantment, which I think began in one of our workshops that we did together. Um, inspired by, so there's lots of brushwork there, inspired by the beautiful abstract works that I love so much of Joan Mitchell. And I'm really, really drawn to these at the moment, these beautiful colours, but particularly for some reason, the um, reds are really resonating for me. So I've got this lovely, don't you think it's gorgeous, this lovely new red dress just in time for Valentine's Day. We're going to go on a on a love date and celebrate our successes and go over to Sage uh, Restaurant and Pie here. And um, just before, I like going places when people aren't going to celebrate typical events like Valentine's Day. And of course, red is the colour of Frida, our beautiful Ferrari that we've got here, which was again symbolises courage, the, the, the courage to pursue a dream. Laurie's always had a dream of having a Ferrari. I mean, many people do, but he worked damn hard to make that a reality. And he loves to share that joy and that beauty with other people who get so much joy from seeing her. So yeah, red is a wonderful, I'm going to be doing a lot more red works. Um, lovely. Looking at reds like Cadaman red is a lovely orange red. So because my colours are more towards spring colours, which are warm colours, I'm drawn to the red oranges, uh, so I really like those. Another one is called Pyro Red, and that's a really sort of really great fire engine red. So I've just been playing, I think, um, as I look back over my body of work, and I'll be sharing a video shortly, ever since the lockdowns, which was the courage to go into love instead of fear. When you look at the fear mongering that the previous government did, it's just atrocious, absolutely atrocious. One way to weaken your immune system is to terrify the life out of people. So uh, I swam towards love and I opened my studio in 20, or well, began painting again in 2019. Then after I had a um, pretty bullying experience with a local lady who has an art gallery up here, I Laurie just said, I'm not letting you be um, in her in her orbit anymore. We're going to open a studio here. And so, of course, I had that fear of turning up for love, for thinking, who's going to come to my little cow shed? And, you know, all the way out here, I thought. And I've had so many, it's really lovely just to hold those memories close. So that's what I'm doing today. Just really savouring those memories. I always feel a little bit bereft. Uh, one of my paintings, it's so lovely, um, called I Brought You Flowers is flying off to the UK today. It's just been picked up and it's rolled up in a tube and it's going to be flying off to the UK to a new home with people that love her. And then I kind of feel like there's a big empty 
empty spot on the on the wall and I always do feel a little kind of mm, bereft like uh, a bit lost sometimes it's a funny feeling actually a bit like oh what am I going to do now so hey Heather so I'm thinking what am I going to do now and I think I'm just going to have a day just to um, do not much at all really but uh, yeah just sharing how I'm just leaning into the color of red red is sort of courage and determination and conviction and it's our root chakra it's our foundation as you know I was playing with glazing using glazing colors I was quin, quin, all the quinoc quinacridone colors are really good glazing colors meaning they're quite transparent and I was playing with that orange over red so you can see the reds were already coming through in my play dates um, putting them on top of orange and I used a cadmium, beautiful cadmium orange there and using glazing so yeah I'm I'm for whatever reason and I think that's the thing about following your intuition or your loves as if certain I would never have worn I've worn a red dress once in my life really um well, more than once but I brought a red dress for the first time I always thought I always had this fear of standing out I was always sort of really attacked in my family for standing out and I brought this really beautiful red velvet dress <clears throat> and uh, I can still remember when I had my exhibition in Wellington called Joyance after I went and studied in Hawaii with Max Gimlet I after I won an award which remember I won a an award for some tiny paintings three paintings which I called love stain like you're a love stain on someone's heart won the award and used the money to go and study with um, do a workshop once in a life chance in Maui Hawaii with Max Gimlet in 2008 and I remember I came back and I had an exhibition of all my paintings. I was seeing a person at the time who was quite a wealthy property developer. He had an empty space right in the middle of Wellington, ground floor. And so I had this huge exhibition, which we called Joyance, which is joy or orgasmic joy. It's not just sort of tentative. It's like full on, full on, like Frida. You know what I mean, Heather, having been in Frida for a drive. It's full on joy. It's exuberant joy. It's boundless joy. And I think that's really important to bring into your painting is this real, is um, Joan Mitchell again, who sort of inspired this painting here. Um, it really is um, around, she would say, put your feelings on, put, put your feelings out. Don't just paint something like you don't care. So that whole thing about, you know, as we've done in my workshops, we've had laughing and singing and we've put our bodies into the painting and we've whooped, whooped and wooed and shouted and, you know, like just had fun. And that's, that's joy coming through. It's a transcendental energy so when I look at that painting that's just gone off to the UK which took a lot of well I don't know just showing it for the first time I thought gosh are people are going to say what the hell is that and people just loved particularly that painting which was inspired by Laurie bringing me flowers and then just me having um full-on full-on um expression and wood pigeons just flown by probably the one we rescued one Christmas so um where was i going with this yeah just the whole thing about following your intuition following your passions looking and celebrating how far you've come the courage you've shown yourself um, keep trying like when i'm i'm doing this collage at the moment sort of going through the years 2019 2020 and it's really great just to look at um, how my styles have evolved, my willingness to try different things. So I'm seeing in 2020, I began to use beeswax. It's got a lot of courage, you know, to get a big burner and propane torch and all this heat and mixing pigments. And, and then in 2020, I went bigger with my artwork. So some of you might want to come along to my three-day art retreat in April and work on some bigger pieces. I know people say, oh, I'm not ready for that. Well, when will you be ready? If you don't give it a go, you'll never be ready. Three days is a good day to do that body of work. I know Heather's coming along to my writing retreat, which is just the week before Easter, and that's going to be fantastic. I'm really looking forward to that. So if you're thinking, if you're on the fence of coming along, I really would encourage you to come. Uh, I find 
<clears throat> writing very very healing there's great books called um, heal yourself with writing I love writing uh, stories, you can write poems, memoirs, uh, children's books, all sorts of things I've done and made a very good life for myself by those books. So actually, while I'm on that topic, why don't I share a book, one uh, page from my latest book, which I've just put on audio for the first time. So it's a book I've written before, but I put it, narrated it, um, called The Art of Success. So let's just say, um, what are the joyful artists? What would be useful for the joyful artists today? Yes, that's so true. I think um, this is why doing my review is really good because it boosts your self-awareness. And as I've said, how far have you come? What have you achieved? What have you loved? What are the works that you're proud of? And Coco Chanel, she says, this is from my book, The Art of Success. Coco Chanel says, I'm neither smart nor stupid, but I don't think I'm a run-of-the-mill person. I've been in business without being a businesswoman. I've loved without being a woman made only for love. And the chapter says, how can you be true to yourself if you don't know who you are and who you want to be? Which is why I'm enjoying doing a review of my works and I'm thinking about the works I've loved, like the really fluid works and flowy works. Then I've really, I'm leaning into more chunkier, more textural works. I would show you one, but it's so wet it'll get go all over my dress. It's a new oil. It's really um, thick, like, and I'm, I was reminded during my review of how I went to New York and saw uh, a Van Gogh up live and personal for the first time. And I talk about that in my book, How to Find Your Passion and Purpose. This comes back to being true to yourself. You know, what arouses you and stimulate that passion that Van Gogh had? And I just had these these tears just came into my eyes when I saw the painting. I just had this huge, this whole whole um, body visceral reaction to his his works. And I think it was the the heart that he poured into his work, the healing that he got from doing his paintings, his desire. He was well. He was was thinking going into the ministry, tried that, didn't do so well. He wanted to minister to people's hearts, and I think that's why the painting just, wow, it just really connected with me. Interestingly enough, so Joan Mitchell, again, who had this really, you know, very fast rhythmic brushwork, she, she absolutely adored Van Gogh and also Cezanne. So when you're thinking of boosting your self-awareness, Look at the works that you enjoy. Whose paintings do you enjoy? What style do you enjoy? What colours arouse you or are arousing you? Like I've shared with this, you know, this beautiful new kaftan. Um, I'll give you a full view of it. It's really gorgeous. I shouted it for myself for Valentine's Day. See? Isn't it? And actually, it's, um, I think it was called Vincent. Ode to Vincent, actually. You can see why the sunflowers, the red. So partly, I know people have bought my paintings because of the names, and they often ask me, how do you name your paintings? So sometimes that's as, um, a huge factor in people buying something. But I bought this, well, partly, I love the, I love the idea of the Ode to Vincent. Um, he is my muse. And then I, I've just been drawn to red more and more. So I just, that's a brief excerpt from the Art of Success Coco Chanel and it's available from all good online retailers and audiobook too, which is great when you're sort of in the studio or you're walking around, you can just listen to it and be uplifted and inspired. It's a holistic book on success, mind, body, soul. So let's do an Art of Life inspiration card and see what speaks to us today. I do this every morning. Wow, there you go. It's the age of, I remember the woman I was talking about who had this art gallery and she would really hustle and really almost bulldoze people into buy this, buy this. And I've always found the paintings sell themselves. So this painting is, um, the card is flow gracefully. 
Grace will take you places hustling won't. And I think that's a bit like painting. Don't try too hard. Just let it pour out of you. Just let it flow. Maybe have flowy, soothing music on, which Joan Mitchell used to have. A lot of um, really beautiful, um, soothing music uh, to help her get out of her head. And this painting, so I was just saying how I'm just doing a collage, which I'll share with you soon on YouTube, of my paintings from 2019 to this moment in time, inspired by the prompt to keep my memories close. And this this painting, actually, it's a wonderful memory. It's one of the first big paintings I did, so it's about the height of me, nearly. I did it on... Um, I think I did it on MDF board actually and at that time I didn't know where to buy large canvases or how to roll my own and staple them and stretch them and um, a beautiful uh, lady came into the, the gallery not long after I'd opened I still had builders paper everywhere and she bought one of my paintings which was called from here to serenity and it was a large one there were three of them that I did and then she returned with two friends and they each brought a painting and this was one of them the other one was love marks and uh, as I said, the other one was From Here to Serenity. And they were from my Soften series, which I created during COVID. And if you remember, many people were very hard, uh, very aggressive, uh, very fearful. So they thought you were going to like kill them if you didn't wear a mask or you were going to, you were treacherous if you didn't behave in certain ways or if you went for a longer walk. Um, you were not a team player and it was very, very, very awful. And as we found out since, all those measures were a complete crock, disproved by science. Uh, anyway, I won't get into the political aspects of that. Other to, than to say, I wanted to, I wanted to, I wanted a softer, I wanted to paint softness. I wanted to give the world more softness. I wanted to give myself more softness. I think it was Frida, Frida Kahlo who said, I became a painter because life was murdering me. It's pretty, wow. You know, she had all sorts of things happening to her. And so she went to her paints uh, for solace and comfort and expression. And I did that, and yeah, so flow gracefully. A lot of these works were my some of my most fluid, watercolour-inspired works. So I'd love to know what resonated with you. Please do comment below and let me know how are you going to flow gracefully or how might you flow gracefully or when is a time you flowed gracefully and something wonderful happened? This has been Cassandra, the Joyful Artist, with my beautiful new frock from uh, Cam Camilla. Camilla, Yeah, beautiful range of silk um, dresses. Just loving the red. It's called Ode to Vincent. Just love that. I think I should do a painting called Ode to Vincent. I'm going to really look, lean into some beautiful reds. I think Gordon Harris has a sale on at the moment. So if you're ever tempted to try some beautiful paints, I recommend the golden range of paints. Really great, rich hues. Very lovely to paint with. Quite a step up from the student paints that you've experiment, experimented with here. So my lovelies, take care. Thanks for being here. Mm, love you much.